Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. In 2017, there were only 32 female CEOs on the list of Fortune 500 companies. So why the huge disparity and what can women do to create their own success in such a male-dominated culture? Well, luckily, business coach and author of Woman on Fire Entrepreneur, Heather Picken, is at our table to help us out. Heather, thanks for coming on the show. Well, thank you so much. All right, so tell me about the book. What inspired you to write this book? Well, I have been disempowered in every area of my life, from money to men, and I've really made it my mission to help women and empower them in using business as a catalyst. And certainly that is not rare with you. A lot of women do that. We kind of, you know, sometimes we just kind of give up that power. Why do we do that? Well, a lot of times we do that because we don't know who we are, and I know that sounds so simple, but when you are so clear on what's most important to you and you give yourself permission to play on a bigger scale, then you can create extraordinary things in your life. Why do you feel that there are fewer women CEOs than men? You know, it's really interesting. There's still a bias against women thinking that we can't be aggressive, assertive, and take risks like men. Also, a lot of women are choosing their kids over a career, or they don't have that flexibility. So there's a lot of issues. We've come a long way, and we, there's, there's more work to do. It's so funny. I just came from a women's conference where Michelle Obama was speaking, and she talked about that, and she said that women have a hard time they want to consult with other people before they raise their hand to give an answer because they want to make sure that it's okay where men they can do it and they can be wrong and be okay with that Do you agree with that yeah you know I think that's interesting yeah. I know Cheryl Sandberg was talking about you know you've got to lean into your career so you mm -hmm. you have to take a stand and speak your truth I'm all about that sure do you think that we are going in the right direction for women I think so. I think a lot of things that are happening right now, which is really interesting, the challenges are creating transformation and it's it's necessary to, to have that. And as women, if we truly support each other and create movements, we're going to see more changes. What are some of the challenges we're facing in business? You know, is for women, I think a lot of times it's, you know, getting in their own way. Can I really do this? You know, where do I start? Uh, lacking the support. I, I think that's huge. You know, I'm a big proponent of helping women to master their mindset. So it's kind of like upgrading the software in your mind every single day. And, and that is the biggest thing. So if you can master who you are and your mindset, you can do anything. So that is one way we can overcome that challenge. What are some of the other ways we can do? Yeah, um, get uh, a mentor or a coach. They've actually proven if you hire someone, get that accountability, then you're highly, you're more likely to actually be successful in your goals. Like if you were to hire a fitness trainer, the same thing, hiring a mentor or a coach, getting into that support group and, and actually creating a plan. A lot of times what happens is if you don't have a plan, you don't have that vision that's clear, uh, then you're going to attract challenges. What about limiting beliefs that hold women? back. Yeah, you know, a lot of times what happens is women will uh, label themselves because of something in the past. So growing up, I had a learning disorder, uh, dyslexia, and in fourth grade, I put that label on myself. I told myself I was stupid. It held me back. And after uh, years of just working on myself, reprogramming my mindset, I realized that was a lie. And so I find that really holds people back, putting on those uh, labels on themselves. You touched on this just a little bit ago, but why is creating a clear vision so important? Well, it's kind of like if you go into a restaurant and you say you just want food, there's uncertainty in what they're going to bring back. Sure. So any detail left out of your vision, you don't know what you're going to take as far as action. So when you know exactly the steps that you need to take every single day, you feel confident. And when you feel confident, you're going to attract the people and resources in your business. Yeah, that is a good point there. What are some winning strategies for success? Give it to us right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does come back to, which I've been speaking about before, mastering your mindset. Every single day, you need to get in there and focus on what is my why also focusing on the highest priorities ask yourself what do i need today in order to uh, create my vision and then getting back to that accountability get someone a support group or a mentor a coach that is going to push you so that you can do it yeah we're all in this together right 
It really helps Absolutely. with the community and the support um, behind you. Well, thank you so much. I already feel empowered. It's been, what, five minutes? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing with us some thank of your you. tips and your strategies. And to get your hands on Woman on Fire, just log on to heatherpickin.com. Stick with us. Up next, a great organization. We'll be right back.